facts don't care about your feelings, and I'm about to start spitting those. There Spit some bars, man. Spit some bars. Spit some bars. Golden Rings DLC being too hard. Let that sink in for a moment. <laughs> for actual years now, one of the most prevalent memes in the gaming community is how bad game journalists are at the games they review. So the community has constantly dropped trouser and taken a hit on them anytime they mention the difficulty of a game. I forgot that my man uh, Penguin here does swear quite a lot. I'm saying his name right, right? Penguin, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now that Elden Ring DLC's dropped, there are so many players that are now leaving so many negative reviews because... Elder Ring Shadow of the Earth she currently has a mixed deck to choose on Steam well, with negative reviews complaining that the bosses are too hard. Brother, <laughs> the mobs themselves kick your uh, bum bum, okay? The mobs themselves kick your bum bum. Every single creature in the DLC seems to two shot you or at best three shot you. Even rats, okay? Rats also do a hip ton of damage everything does a hip ton of damage i haven't finished the dlc i'm about to finish it uh i already beat mesmer and uh, i beat somebody else actually no i'm currently fighting uh bale the dragon i died twice to be fair so it's, it's it's not that serious but let's see how how serious it's gonna be my god where did i click they think the dlc is unfairly difficult you either die a gamer or live long enough to see yourself become a journalist. The shoes on the other foot. <laughs> That's only these so two now options? There's people just fing moaning about it being too difficult and being upset about that. Now, contrary to. I don't even understand how much of a motivation do you have to have to basically state that you have a difficulty playing Elden Ring. Like, if I actually can't beat Elden Ring, I would just put myself in a hole and not say anything i'm not gonna freaking deliberately go into the internet and say this game is too hard <laughs> that just makes me a p word and i'm no p word okay i will use every single mechanic in the game to win it which every single person that plays Elden ring has it so use those mechanics and actually beat the game if you don't do that then hey what some twitter rage bait engagement is trying to lead you to believe not every bad review of the DLC is about it being too difficult and like soiling their diet. But to be fair, if I go to the actual, legitimate... one second, Pingy. If I go to the actual Steam and I type in Elden Ring, mostly positive. Okay, now it's no longer mixed reviews. Okay, there's Shadow of the Herb Tree and then there's Elden Ring, right? Very positive and the DLC is mostly positive. Okay, okay. So I'm pretty sure it changed a bit. Uh, performance problems, like a lot of issues with the DLC itself from the performance side of things. I haven't had any problems personally, but if that Me is neither. people are experiencing, that's Ever, since day one, by the way, since day one, they updated the game quite but a lot. But since day one, I have never had any issues. Of people leaving bad reviews about the difficulty, that is actually true. It's just not all of them. Mm -hmm. There's so much to unpack here, and it's time for a little tough love. So I am a huge fan of Souls games. My favorite genre of video game is Souls like. I play uh me personally, this is it's only been one minute and forty seconds am I already tucking my arms off. But me personally, I haven't played any other Souls game besides Elden Ring. And I am enjoying it quite a lot. So if I can beat the game, everybody can, okay? This is my opinion. All of them. If I can beat it, anybody can. Like the From Soft Unless you can't see like then all games in this genre. So even the super stinkers like lords of the fallen i try them all because i really love this genre of game and i'm thinking i'm gonna and actually Elden try Ring the other ones is tied for my favorite souls game in existence it's tied with bloodborne and the dlc i think is extremely good it's not perfect there are legitimate complaints to have about it but one of them is not the difficulty. it's too hard this yeah dlc comes oh, with come built-in huh? training wheels should you choose to activate them with the Skadu Tree Fragments. As you collect these throughout the world, you'll get a boost to your offensive and defensive capabilities, serving as a yeah. permanent boost to DLC damage dealt and negation. So if you're tired of banging your head against the wall, getting your butt cheeks blasted by whatever... <laughs> Uh, by the way, the, this only works inside of the DLC, right? It doesn't work outside of it, right? On. Make like Marco Polo and explore the land, collecting these sacred Dragon Balls here, so that way you can have an easier time with the bosses. Or yeah. you can subscribe to the ancient belief system and just get good. Just be better. <laughs> Elden Ring is also a game. Uh, get good. Game. Nobody it's wants to hear that. a series, really. 
where it's as difficult as you make it. There are broken builds that you can use, especially in Elden Ring. There's full-blown mechanics yeah. that are there to help you through difficult challenges. Hell, there's a mechanic that you summon take it. zero you damage. Can use a mimic tier to help you get through a boss. You don't have to go summonless. Like, if you're struggling to a point that you're about to cast self-destruct like a Voltorb and leave a mm -hmm. incendiary negative review on Steam because you can't beat the dancing lion, just use a f***ing summon. It's not good enough to do it without clearly. And what are you trying to prove anyway? That's the thing. Because there's a lot of YouTubers and a lot of gamers that basically play Elden Ring with no summons. And then they have the mentality of if you be with a summon, you're not considered a gamer. Or basically, you're not that good. So a lot of people, I think even reviewers or critics are playing also like that with no summons with nothing just 1v1 in the freaking boss which in my opinion like if it's your first time playing a game i would say enjoy as much as possible i like the mechanic of the of summoning because it makes me feel like i'm playing with a friend or with somebody next to me and i do like co-op games and i like the uh and i like and i like the experience so me personally i'm never gonna play elden ring well I'm not saying never because i did make challenges of, on my own so i'm not gonna play elden ring for the first time nor the dlc without summoning and fighting the boss by myself and just using one weapon or whatever the heck like these are challenges okay like even uh let me solo her on a video he himself even said that the first time he's not even trying to beat the boss with you know like by himself and everything no he uses summons he uses everything in order to actually beat those bosses he even suggests everybody to do that like he's not trying to freaking <laughs> rip his hair off like in the first freaking on his first playthrough okay like on my first playthrough i use everything and right now on the dlc i'm using everything every summon that i have every weapon that i have in one single boss i use like six weapons <laughs> i use six different weapons to beat a single boss <laughs> <laughs> uh, and summons as well uh to be fair i only use like two or three summons at max uh i switch them over to see which one is more beneficial for challenges i personally do also challenges i do have it uh challenges on my channel where i even beat elden ring well i didn't beat the final boss but i I don't remember to be the <laughs> I don't remember the video itself, but I do remember that I beat the fire giant. I think I stopped it. I stopped there the fire giant when I was beating it with level one character, and it's still my first ever freaking Bloodborne, uh, Dark Souls like game. So just use a summon, get through the boss, and enjoy the game. Exactly, like, it's not you gotta like enjoy you're it. Trying to prove yourself as a man or whatever. Just to who? Use a summon in that case. Like who are you proving yourself saying, to? Like, I refuse to summon, but I also can't beat any of these enemies. So this deal <laughs> sucks. It's poorly designed. <laughs> No, you're just it doesn't like, make any sense and you're not able to reach the challenge you've set for yourself so how about instead of blaming the dlc for your shortcoming just use a summon go grab some scattered tree fragments and yeah enjoy it. like it, this doesn't need to be some kind of torturous struggle you're not held captive at guantanamo bay forced to do a level one wretch playthrough of the elden ring dlc it's for the first to... time which is ridiculous and it is it is difficult but that's always been one of the big selling points of Souls. That's games, why I like it so much. Challenging. And people First time playing a game like this. Spit on those that would insult the series for being hard. And now with this one, somehow the prevalent discussion has been about how it's too hard and they've gone too far this time. Like the creators even said that because there were so many people saying that the game is so easy, they made it sure that the DLC was way harder than the actual Elden Ring game. Uh, the original, right? So they made the DLC a little bit harder. <laughs> now, whether it's a little bit or a lot harder than, hey, it's your opinion against uh, their opinion. So they succeeded. That, that is good. They succeeded. But they also gave you a lot of broken things. Okay. So there is also that. But they also uh, updated the game. And with the update, they nerfed a lot of stuff. But there's also still broken stuff. So you can do whatever you want. I've actually seen streamers saying the same thing. Which is it's streamers. Blind. Like I actually am shocked. That There's actually the streamers that said that everything needs to be so handholdy that now if you can't complete your challenge run of Elden Ring because the DLC is a little more brutal than what you're used to, it's the game's fault and from software <laughs> fucked up. It's stupid. It's really stupid. There is built-in systems here to make it easier for you. Yeah. You can also use sorcery or something. Use buffs you summons like there's so many options for you to get through this dlc they don't know the game that they're playing to get through it with a challenge you've set for yourself isn't the dlc's fault 
There are real criticisms for it, though. For instance, I'm going through this DLC and I play all of Souls games summonless. I, I like to have it at the most optimal challenge imaginable because that's the most fun for me in these yeah. kind of games. So I've been doing a punch-only build and I've switched it to a punch-and-kick-only build now with martial arts. And it's been extremely... Oh, wow. That's actually my build. What the hell? A punch and kick. So he's basically almost... So he's about to finish the DLC because you cannot get the punch and kick uh, weapon until you burn the tree. And once you burn the trees, that's pretty much like almost the end of the DLC. Once you burn the tree, most of the quests you can no longer access. So I'm pretty sure he's almost at the end because that punch and kick, which is the one that I, I'm also trying to get. But if I do try to get it, I will most likely finish the freaking game without even beating uh, half of the bosses. So that is also one that I'm actually using. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. It's pretty cool, the most sets. However, there have been two bosses so far that are actually not well made. One of them is Commander Gaius, Hog Rider. Hog Rider has two moves that come out. Have I fought him? I don't remember. Where the hitboxes don't match the animations. So his charge, if you dodge it perfectly, sometimes you will still take the full impact, which often one taps you. And also, what? he's like, I don't even know what to call this move, but where he like flails around randomly and like throws his head around like he's head banging at a bullet from my Valentine concert from 2006. That move will hit you huh? pretty much anywhere if, unless you're in his butthole. So any, anything aside from his colon, you're still going to take damage from, even if you do roll it right, at least most of the time. And then the other boss that has one I bad set of moves is Mesmer. I actually really oh. like Mesmer. <laughs> Mesmer, uh, Mesmer, <laughs> I'm going to hear what he's going to say about Mesmer. I think he's a very, very, very cool boss. Took me 27 tries. So, so far, that is the boss that's taken me the most amount of tries in all of Elden Ring on my punch only run. Your punch only run. Uh, okay. So you beat the boss. So you beat Elden Ring. I mean the DLC and then you're doing it again. Okay. Okay. I think that's it, right? So you're playing the DLC once again after you beat it the first time, right? Okay, okay. And he was fantastic, except for one thing. His phase two, he summons snakes. Yes. The snake hitboxes are so fucking janky. This yes, 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 yes. I didn't put it on my video, but there was a part that I was so stressed out because those snakes made no sense how they were hitting me, okay? Like, I was perfectly dodging them, but for some reason, his head, like, this is me, right? The player. This is me, and this is his head. This, I dodged the head, so I was already inside of him, right? Pause, I guess. So I was already inside. The snake continued and still hit me. So it hit me when the head already passed me. So I don't know what the heck was that, but the majority of the, the hits from the second phase was absolutely just out of this world. It made no sense. I just had to stun lock him. The snake hitboxes actually are almost non-functional sometimes. Yeah. Like in the worst possible way. Like what you're seeing doesn't match what you're experiencing. Like <laughs> yeah. The snake will completely fucking hit you, but then you'll yes. still get hit sometimes. Exactly. So yeah. A it's like so like I explained. You're here. The you head of the snake is here, but you still get hit. Such terrible okay. Reviews only because it's difficult is absolutely juvenile. But to be fair, even then, it's like, it's just a small portion, which I'm not even, I wouldn't even uh, consider that, well, I didn't give that much thought. I was just saying, I just said that, okay, this is a hitbox issue or I'm the, I'm just that bad or just blind completely because I can't see what the heck is going on. But hey, after fighting the golden hippopotamus that, that has the worst freaking camera angles of all time. That is so embarrassing. This is some of the best DLC I've played. FromSoft, I think, has always crushed it with their DLC, and this one's no exception. I don't think it's their best DLC. I still like Bloodborne's DLC the most, but I mm. really, really appreciate this. This is the biggest DLC I've ever played. I'm not a big DLC guy. I'd rather just get another game down the line as opposed to like yeah. a little snack of something I already enjoyed. I'd rather just get something else later that's bigger. But this DLC, but this I've DLC is so like 15, big. 16 hours in, and I still haven't finished. I'm Jesus. loving it. It's huge. It really does feel almost like an Elden Ring 1.5. Like, <laughs> it's that big. It has that much meat on its bones. The girth is impressive. And yeah. the music 
is beautiful. I love the new area. I should be playing this game with a, with with sound, but I, I removed it because of the freaking recording sessions and all that. I have not experienced the actual music from the game. Damn, that that that's actually I'm missing it. I'm missing out. I'm missing out big time. I love almost all of the new bosses except here's a criticism that I think some people might not agree with. Okay. I'm pretty upset with how many bosses are mounted. I, I've already fought so many mounted. mounted bosses, and I think mounted enemies are kind of the lamest because the move sets are pretty derivative. Like they're yeah, I I don't have the, uh, I I don't have any opinions on this one because I don't I just, similar, I just I don't, don't know really which like ones is the actually fight because usually it's a spam these couple of moves then run away and you're forced to kind of chase them for the punish window as opposed yeah. to getting a punish. Tree like Sentinels move, was good. We talking about you? Punish, and I don't really like that that much, but. It's not the biggest deal in the world. I've been really loving the DLC, but absolutely hating the conversation around it in regards to the difficulty of it. I don't think it's too hard, but I have always said that the challenge of the Souls-like genre is something that's always going to be a bit restrictive to some people. Not everyone's going to appreciate that, and there's nothing wrong with it. Like, if it's just not your cup of tea, that's totally fine to just say, like, Nice hey, tattoos, by the way. I don't really like the challenge of this, so uh, it's not for me that i have always understood and i've mentioned that before in moist meters for previous souls games it, it, like it is just very understandable to not want a really big challenge but for the elden ring dlc these aren't just the normal you know casual players coming in out of nowhere the only way you get to the dlc is if you've already done a lot in the base that is game. actually true so that is true you should already be familiar with the challenge elden ring presents Thus, going into the DLC, I really think you should have come in with the understanding that it's going to be hard. It shouldn't be hard. That is actually true, because you to even go to the DLC, you have to be Moog, which is insanely hard, and free King Radon. Well, to be fair, Radon got nerfed to the ground, but still, you have to beat him. <laughs> There's a bunch of summons in Radon, so I'm pretty... Well, Moog, to be fair, right now is even harder than Radon. So if you beat both of them even when i actually was already in game freaking plus 20 obviously it's not that much but uh <laughs> but even when i was actually trying to beat uh moog i died a couple times with all my freaking arsenal i still died a bunch of times and uh redon i didn't even die once so hey <laughs> The DLC is not going to be that hard. Be no, actually, I'm lying. The DLC is going to be way harder. This genre so special in the first place, and I don't think they've done anything, you know, nefarious with the scaling of the the difficulty here. It's not mm -hmm. too hard. You're making it harder on yourself by not collecting the material they put in here to make it yeah. easier. Or not using certain mechanics to make it easier with summoning or... Or items, or your talismans. Weapons that have really good abilities. You have to really so utilize your talisman in this DLC. You use here to help you through the challenging portions of this game. And you can't start pointing the fucking finger at the game itself just because you're refusing to do those things because you think it's beneath you or something or maybe it's shameful. I, I don't really know. To be fair, if it is shameful, you're even shaming yourself even harder by saying that it's hard. So I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a lose lose situation here. It's not the DLC's fault that you want to go through the game in the most difficult way imaginable and then be mad about that when you have all the power in the world not to. You can just use something better or go yeah. get the scattered tree fragments. Like you have so many options. So I really think it's a very weak reason to be you know leaving such terrible reviews of the dlc like i said there are real reasons not to like it like it's it's not perfect no, nothing ever is yeah but a, a lot of reviews i've seen just give us some problems. sensible criticism problems but if that is a like a prevalent issue with the dlc then that's something that does make sense too like that would be a reason to leave a negative review nothing wrong with that yeah it's just calling it too difficult is so silly i can't believe we've reached this point now it's very interesting to see that's about it. See ya. Damn, that's a abrupt ending. I should be ending my videos like that too.